Greetings YouTubers. Are Microsoft Teams backgrounds important to you? Well, if they are, and if you want to be able to change them to whatever you want, then watch this video to find out how. This is the folder location where you need to upload the Microsoft Teams background pictures. It's hidden, so you will need to unhide that. Um, easiest way I found to get to this folder is just copied and pasted this into Finder, then go and then connect, not connect to server, uh, go to folder. So just type that in and then press go. Uh -huh, here we are. Now for this experiment, I'm going to be using a picture of Baby Yoda here, which I got from Pixabay. And I just want to show you something in terms of aspect or the dimensions and aspect ratio. Uh, it's 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's important because if it's not that, it will seem stretched. So teams will just probably stretch out that picture. Um, in fact, this is stretched because I disabled the aspect ratio. Oops. Let's put it in that folder. Happy days, close that, close that. Let's do a quick Teams call to make sure that it's working. So uh, on the left here, I've got Friday the cat, who I will be calling. And then on the right, it's my account. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna click start video call here. I'm gonna turn off the microphone. So you can't actually change the picture until you start the call. Who knew? All right, so we're gonna answer that we call there. Turn that off. Now, in order to get that picture, we have to go to the teacher one on the right hand side, go to more actions, and then show background effects. And with any luck, fingers crossed, it will appear at the bottom. There he is, baby Yoda in all his glory. And it's a giant baby Yoda, which is a little bit creepy, but there you go. This is the way and then click apply okay and then you can see friday the cat would see me with a giant baby yoda in the background with a stormtrooper pointing a blaster and that concludes this video of how to upload your own team's background pictures thanks for watching and i'll see you next time